this off them. What is this? We can't just go, you know, unquestioned. This isn't right. The problem is, you're never going to get another boost that's that OP, but also wins you the whole map. What if you had a secret strategy that was so unprecedented, so dominant, that using it might not be worth it? Honestly, I, I don't know, I am genuinely speechless. It, it, it's made me so upset. When you finally used it, how would you feel? I mean, uh, the map is called Olaf Pass for a reason. Smith's looking confused and dazed, and it's gonna be a follow -up. What is Olaf Pass? I don't understand that before. You gotta be kidding me, take down Kirishima as well. Counter-Strike has always been a strategic game. I'll watch, I'll watch a video. But those strategies evolve, even on maps that have been around forever. Go AWPs, Fnatic, they're ready to shoot some <laughs> ducks as they cross the middle. It's gonna be a challenge, and Apex, not in this lifetime. He is Cheese. But the boost that Fnatic used at DreamHack 2014 on Overpass was different. Oh, I've heard about that. Okay, so the thing is that in the rules, they me seven, 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 seven. they specifically said that you're not allowed to jump on dead pixels, which are a small, small particle on the map that is dead, right? But makes uh, makes a uh, right a thing. So they jump on a pixel that was dead, correct? To make that jump happen. In Maybe which case, it's, it's, it's illegal. A map, apparently, and no one knew until now. And the lead up to it didn't help matters. We had a major issue in Counter Strike. Okay, I'll with, watch it then. You know, some cheating. Not only cheating I'm accusations wrong. that are running rampant, but obviously we did have several top players get back banned. We need to talk about flush it. I know that a couple of my teammates are convinced that <laughs> they, they think they cheat. I do not think flush it cheats, um, but I think maybe in the past. He might of flush flush aim. Why would they even include Mo, dude? Who did Mo, dude? Flush why? Flush flush why? Is not aim oh my God, you're such a fucking sellout. I thought I'm you sorry. were the coolest dude I'm in the sorry. world. None of Fnatic's players had been banned. They had their fans, but they had even more detractors. It's always easy to hate on the top dog, and Fnatic was the best hey, CSGO team in the world. Love your streams, been enjoying them for about four there, months now, and just so want smooth. to thank you for Hell getting well. me through the hard time. Guys, I'm not doing GSF just for this again. Get your fat fucking schnoz out of the way. Fuck off, dude. Finally, a Fuck off. Not enough hell raises. They take first seat in the group over the favorites. Fnatic 16-14 victory on Mirage. What a game. They only got the second seat. And their quarterfinal matchup saw them face off against LDLC, the French LDLC that was considered second best in the world at the time. Yes, Jun Shipping, are you ready? It's LDLC versus Fnatic. Make some noise. This could potentially be a grand final match right here. It's a noise, boys. The top teams in the world about to face off in a best of three. LDLC took the first map, Dust Two, marking the first time they took a game one off of this Fnatic roster. But Fnatic fired back with a statement victory on cash even the series. The deciding map was overpass. That's it, the perfect game here. It went to the third map just like overpass. we were all praying that it would, and this is such a good matchup right now. Overpass is considered a CT-sided map, and Fnatic lost their first T-side half dramatically. 12 to 3. Holy it is really shit! Terrifying at the moment here. GG. Pistol round means everything. Otherwise, Fnatic could end up crashing out of this quarterfinals essentially in the final map. That would be a devastating result for them, obviously. And <laughs> home turf here. This is when Fnatic finally deployed the boost. Do they have a weird boost going on currently? Yes, look at this boost. Oh, my, oh god. my god, this is beautiful. He can look over oh. to the restrooms as well. The triple boost allowed Fnatic to see a huge portion of the map from the CT spawn. And though they used it in the pistol round for information, they had lost that too. They are gonna have to fight their way back to Blueprint. The diffuse from happening. Damn, they knew where they're coming from and they still lost. And there's the kill for shots come seem to be a one on two. He just has to defend it's a one headshot. He needs to pick up a second one and he's gonna get it. Double kill. LDLC. Come on, man. With that B push. Even though Fnatic had the boost available, they were running out of time. 13 to 3. After the pistol round, LDLC only needed three more rounds to win the series. Fnatic had enough money to buy a scout, and Olafmeister's hand <laughs> from the boost position, that had to be enough. Olafmeister is still waiting. The patience game coming out. I love this. Squeak door as well. He's here. He sees them down there. What the fuck? Smith's looking confused and dazed, and it's gonna be a follow-up. That's such trash. Kidding me? Takes down Kirishima as well. 
Oh, it finally works. And now, Fnatic, if this is the comeback moment for them, they will do a fine job in there, but it is a bit turn. Laugh. They pick up the round. The boost works. The secret strategy immediately reshaped the landscape of the map. LDLC just couldn't figure it out. No, I think he's just jumping. There it is. All of that is there. He's raining down death from above. This, this is, is a This is cruel and unusual punishment, without a doubt, from all of the Even when LDLC managed to get on a site and out of Olaf's sight line, <laughs> Fnatic managed to hold him on. The push is going to be for A right now. Grenade on down, and it does hit Smith for 52 damage. JW follow up with a double kill. LDLC completely falling apart right now. Fnatic man. 30 to 7. Smith goes down. <laughs> it's 13 to 7. They try to rush into the <laughs> bomb site to push in before and the boost. Pepe alive, dude. But that failed too. This boost takes so long, they're gonna rush before the boost even happens now. They're all the way up at the A bomb site, but Crimson is there. Oh no, all of them have killed as well. They had this so well timed, but it's not enough. The bomb is dropped inside and Fnatic. They are still just a brick wall. There is no getting through here. This was a great idea. What is so funny? I love this. 13-13 a broken LDLC finally called a timeout to see if they could figure out a counter strategy. But it wasn't enough. While LDLC eventually figured out where Olaf Meister was firing from, they never managed to eliminate the threat he posed. They are trying to figure out the angle once again here. They're trying to see if they could potentially get a cleaner shot. Look at this now. Happy. They're so tilted. <laughs> sees it coming. They've accounted for this, Fnatic. They're one step ahead. Oh, oh shit. It was their ace in the hole in the purest sense. It was very hard for them in the first half. They only got three rounds. It was 12 to three in the first half. They lost the pistol round on the follow-up half. That should be the end. That's when you lose. And then they pull up an ace out the sleeve and they do it for just every single round. They're on out flush against the double. Did you? Down to Smith. No chance at all. Fnatic, they make their way to the semis of a tournament here. Pronax with a final kill. 16-13. Hey, GG. Hey, hey, sir, guys, guys, GG, good game, sir, it was a lot of fun, I enjoyed it, have a good day, sir, GG. After the win, Fnatic's coach Devil Walk said in an interview that he believed the better team had won. I mean, I feel sorry for the LDLC guys, because they played an amazing match, they played way better than we actually did, but we had more knowledge about the map, so we won the True. Of that. While Fnatic certainly had their fans, especially in Sweden, they had their detractors too. And after the boost, which had proven so dominant, the backlash worsened. It was like such a low, low point. I mean, I have had much hate uh, through through the whole career, pretty much, in CSGO. And, but this this thing was just like it was so much at the same they time. They did a baby rage, Oy, guys. My team lost because because they jumped on the plane and they shot me with the gun. Um, it was very very hard for for me as well as the others. The DreamHack admins, looking at the boost, tried to figure out if something about it was illegal. And fans on social media pointed to an old 2013 DreamHack rulebook that prohibited so-called pixel boosts. This would have applied in 2013, except the current rules didn't prohibit those kinds of boosts. The rules that has been pasted on uh, a lot of social medias is actually DreamHack Summer 2013 rules. So those rules has not been uh, the rules in, in the tournament. The tournament, you won? Has, uh, the tournament rules has the, been delivered the fans. to all the teams in advance of the tournament. Guys, I'm talking about the fans. I, I, I was speaking for the fans. I was saying, he was saying backlash, and I, what I was saying is that the person saying the backlash is, my team lost. And in that rule, there is no um, um, pixel boosting is okay. The initial call from admins was to replay the second half of Overpass the next day, but the decision was debatable. It's not an exploit. It's in the rules that you can use this boost. It's not considered an exploit. It's clever use of mechanics. They discovered that two aspects of the boost Fnatic used were illegal, but also that a boost that LDLC had used in the first half was also illegal. Oh! After hours of demo review is they found that both Smith's and Olaf Meister's boost took advantage or, or were subject to this one texture bug that, that could be applied to both of them. 
And so they'd found their way to just say, both of you are at fault actually. And so we'll replay. The what? The nature of the discussion that followed between the two teams is still unclear. Thorin claims that LDLC refused to even replay the second half, but the result that fans got wasn't a replay at all. Fnatic has forfeit the match between uh, against LDLC. Okay. So this is final, and LDLC is through. They're gonna face off against Navi at. Uh, Yikes! Even though both teams used boosts that turned out to be illegal, it was Fnatic who were made out to be villains. The community decided that. What the fuck? This is trash. What what if they what, what if they lost, right? And they just said, "Hey, remember the boost you guys used once? That's cheating. You, if you use a, a glitch once or 17 times, it is the exact same punishment should be applied." They weren't geniuses for their discovery. They were evil masterminds. Like it's just shameless of them and they're just a top team who doesn't need to do something. Uh, doesn't need to do exactly like bug using in order to win and it was unnecessary and they should replay it Yo. In the immediate baby the rage event, the team wasn't exactly having a good time Like let's say it was more more than half of the or yeah more than half of the team I guess uh, that wanted to to quit several members of the team considered just quitting they weren't really known for CS before Go, and now firmly cast as the villains, they were outsiders. But they understand it was way, way, way worse for Crims and all of that haven't... They, they were like coming in and being uh, new, new to the top scene, kinda, you know, and like being praised by everyone, and then suddenly on one, one game they are hated by the majority, you know? So I think it was hardest for them. Okay, so the problem I have with this is that since they both used the cheat, I don't know why they're replaying it, right? They both used trash mechanics and one team won, right? Then there should be no replay. Did both teams use the dead pixel? Why, why even replaying it? I, I, I don't understand. But in the end, Fnatic stuck it out, and CS history is all the better for it. In 2015, the... It doesn't matter if one used a different one or, or, or one that, that, that they used more times, it doesn't matter. The same roster the fuck? went on to win that, that's my mentality with it. three majors. And Fnatic became the only organization with three CSGO majors to their name. The lineup is one of CSGO's truly legendary rosters, driven by a desire to prove their haters wrong and make history. And replay Fnatic are indeed your ESL One Cologne 2015 champions, winning back-to-back -back ESL events, but of course, more importantly, winning back-to-back -back majors. Now, three major titles in their trophy case. The boost itself also stands out. Today, it's hard to imagine that a boost <laughs> so powerful could ever be discovered and then somehow kept secret for months until it could be pulled out in a major tournament. What's even more unbelievable is that Fnatic used it against their toughest opponent when everything was on the line and it worked as well as it did. That's in, that's that's insane. Now, straight headshot, they have no idea. Smith's looking confused and dazed and there's gonna be a follow-up headshot on the first half. Now immortalized in graffiti on Overpass, the OAP boost is a reminder <laughs> of the power of ingenuity the pressure faced by esports athletes and the gray area between what's possible and what's acceptable. I like the video because dude, it's actually it's crazy that they, they knew the boost, they could use it the entire tournament, they didn't, and they used it on the possible last map, and never pulled it up before, ever. If they were gonna lose, they were gonna tank it, right? And they were gonna only use it at the last time. And even though the other they didn't also cheated, that time was not okay, and they just canceled the map, like, Replay, that's just trash, dude. That's honestly garbage, dude. You had months of study and you fucked up, you didn't know the boost, dude. Well, dude, fuck it. Get rolled. Dude, everybody had months to learn the maps. You know, these guys knew it for knew it for months, and everything didn't, didn't, didn't. That sucks, dude. Fuck you. Get rolled. Yeah, whatever, dude. I'm, I'm not. I'm not gonna get triggered over this, dude. I'm triggered. I'm triggered. I'll say it. I'm actually. I'm actually tilted when I did.